Today I'm bringing you another mod list video, this time my favourite category, Immersion. So these mods will have a big focus on making the world feel more real, with new mechanics like changes to how relationships and opinions work, and even a big change to how information is gathered on other realms. Also I'm sorry I have been gone for like over a month, I just had my first baby and I've been incredibly tired. But I'm super happy to be back making videos and I'm more motivated than ever, so expect my usual two videos per week once again and some other great news modcon returns on the 29th of september and i'll be hosting for the entire day on the 1st of october so keep an eye out for more information on that soon as it's a great way to learn about the work the amazing modding community we have is up to and the things we can look forward to in the future also if everybody watching this subscribes i'd hit my goal really fast and it really would mean the world to me thank you first up we have social relations expanded and you know a mod is great when it takes a system you never really thought felt lacking and expands it massively and you're just left thinking huh this should have been in the base game this works by adding many many more reasons for people to like or dislike each other. So let's just say King Charles is best friends with the King of Brittany. Well, any person who is also good friends with Solomon will like Charles a little more. Or if they hate Solomon, they will dislike Charles for being friends with a rival. And that's just one part. There's many more things. Like you can become a family friend if you befriend enough members of a family. And taking it even further, declaring war on somebody will make their friends dislike you too. Too. And of course, I don't want to go into every little detail, but overall, this mod completely overhauls what characters think of each other without any of it feeling out of place. And for me, it's a truly must-have mod. Next is another insane mod, Holding Sprawl, and it does wonders to push the feeling that the world is actually lived in and not just an empty map game full of ones and zeros you stare at at 3am. Anyway, when you or other rulers build, there's an animation over the holding to show construction is happening, and things that are built actually appear around the holdings. So over time, you will see the world fill up with a variety of buildings, although it does seem to be a common bug of random cities disappearing, so be aware of that. But it does have some of the best modders working on it, so I'm sure it will get fixed very soon. Unit Packs Expanded adds a lot of new armor sets for you to see on the map during wars. It is a part of the Expanded mod series I'm sure you're already familiar with, but you will need to have Ethnicities and Portraits Expanded for this mod to work, so load this mod below that in your load order. Different armor set will be used depending on the culture of the ruler, and each set contains three different models relating to the tier of the unit. A wide portion of the map is currently covered, and they mention more will be added in the future but pair this with the holding sprawl mod and sieges have never looked so great. Moving on to one of my favourite mods of all time, Better Battles. Now, I chose this over Battlefield Duel, as although they kind of do similar things, I find Better Battles more immersive, with a wider variety of different events that can happen, but either will work fine. It's all just personal preference. Now this mod only works if you are commanding an army, then random events can trigger, sometimes changing the fate of the battle, as you can plan sieges, or while fighting notice weak spots in your defence and move in to defend those areas. But sometimes these risks are too great, and can get you killed so do be aware of that. But if you just want to feel more involved in your own battles, this mod is for you. Next is probably the most immersive mod on this list, but it does come with a big addition of extra difficulty, Immersive Realm Espionage, as it makes no sense at all that you know the exact troop count of other realms, how much gold they have and what men lead their armies. So with this, you get access to a new spymaster task to get them to observe and spy on a rival nation in hopes of gathering all of this information. But of course, while doing this, they can't be detecting murder plots, leaving you very vulnerable. And the better the spymaster, the more information they will get, so having a good spy master will be more important than ever before. Another great way to actually get information though is through friends. You can actually ask friends for information about their realm, although they will really have to like you to share this information. But I do find this most useful if you're allies with them and you just want to get a good guess on your combined troop count. 
The next step into making CK3 feel more immersive is a diplomatic envoy. This allows you to send an envoy to travel and speak to other rulers directly. But first, you must hire an envoy, and you will actually need to pay for their travel expenses, so expect to shell out some gold to trade. But the new trade screen allows you to arrange marriages, alliances, trade artifacts, and even trade entire titles. And it all happens on this really well-made trade screen, so if you haven't already, please give this mod a go, as it goes a long way to making you feel more involved with the other characters. The Mostly Mechanical mod collection currently consists of 10 mods, each doing some amazing things. Now, I've spoke about these mods countless times on the channel, so I won't go into too much detail, but you have Prisoners of War which makes people captured during a siege actually attach to the army and not just teleport to some dungeon. In my humble opinion shows your character's opinion of other characters, so this will definitely help you roleplay. As well as some other big changes on how contracts are negotiated by taking into account characters' traits and much much more. And I'll drop a link in the description where you can check out all of these different mods. Next is another pack of mods, the Morvin Mod Pack. And out of the full collection, the most important for immersion are less old wives, which makes AI men less likely to marry older, infertile women, as of course they will want to have children, which the game doesn't seem to normally take into account. More babies for counts and dukes, because you know, back in the day, people used to get pretty busy and bust out children like it was nothing. So now, on average, counts will have between five and six children, and dukes will have between six and seven. And finally, for the Morvin mods, there's Doctor's Tweak, which makes AI rulers a lot more likely to hire court physicians. So this means that less rulers will die of easy to cure diseases and actually seek out treatment, and the most powerful kings in the world don't just die from being a little bit ill. Community culture utility changes how cultures feel about one another, because typically in CK3, if one culture diverges from another, they're classed as completely separate cultures. But now, with this mod, they're able to recognize the similarities between each other, improving acceptance between them. And languages that are similar are easier to learn. But the main change is, like I mentioned, cultures that share heritage groups will now be able to recognize they are fairly similar, improving relations between them. Next, weddings expanded completely changes weddings and makes them more than just an event to collect some gold. Now they're actually grand ceremonies you must prepare for, socialize with the guests, and even have to deal with the nagging in-laws that demand a more expensive wedding. An actual realism simulator, 10 out of 10. And it's nice that during the ceremonies, they've actually used their courtrooms to make a nice wedding scene, and it actually looks fantastic. But be aware, after it's all said and done, you will need to pay for it, or just do what Bojo would do, and just raise taxes to cover it. Yay. Last, but certainly not least, is Rice. Truly the ultimate mod to add flavor and immersion across the world, which currently includes 19 different flavor packs, and each one includes a bunch of new events, buildings, decisions, and even music that let you experience the real history that these areas have. I've forever been meaning to make a full video on this mod, so if that is something you would like to see, let me know, because it will take a while. This mod just has so much content. But I think my favorite pack is the Upper Egypt pack, which contains new mechanics around the River Nile and how the level of water would decide the amount of crops that could be harvested, drastically affecting the area. Or the Roads pack, adding the luxurious sponge trade and allowing you to defend roads with their new fortifications, all while listening to the two new Mediterranean themed soundtracks. There's of course other mods like the Community Flavor pack and so on that I haven't mentioned as I'm sure everybody already runs, but at the top of the description, will be a Steam Workshop link including all of these mods and some extra ones. But yes, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and I will be trying to get back into consistent uploads once again. But if you haven't already, do consider subscribing and I gotta say a massive thank you to Intermio1, Harold Volmer and Victor Voss Anderson.